Well, millions of Americans are getting ready to view a rare total solar eclipse, whether they are already in the path of totality or maybe had to travel to go see it. Our eclipse countdown happening right now. Yeah, Kelly O'Connell joining us from <laughs> the Live Center, uh, talking about how this is a, a rare event and it has a big impact for the economy. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we, of course, did not travel to see it, but a lot of people did. The narrow path of totality, about 115 miles wide, that is where the moon will cover the sun completely. Completely. Now, unfortunately, as we've been saying, we have a partial eclipse here in Minnesota, and we might not see much of even that because of the cloud coverage, but we do know a lot of Americans are traveling to spots hoping to see this rare sight. A live look at Dayton, Ohio this morning where the total eclipse should be visible about 310 this afternoon. And with that, we know people are traveling to cities like this one, tourism industry seeing a big boost, expecting a lot of people. Take a look. This map is from Air DNA. It measures data in the short-term rental industry, so basically showing how popular certain spots are on Airbnb or VRBO, for instance. Over the last week, the occupancy percentage shot up to near 100% right along the path of totality. You see it right there. It's very obvious where people are flocking to. The data shows that Jeffersonville, Vermont, is the most booked city in the country with more than 99% of its Airbnbs filled for today, the big day. The state of Vermont says it's expecting up to $51 million in economic impact from the eclipse. Meanwhile, Airbnb and hotels are not the only ones cashing in, of course. Many communities say they could bring in revenue like they've never seen before. According to the Great American Eclipse website, the total amount of money coming in could reach $1 billion. So, of course, small businesses selling souvenirs, hosting special events, viewing parties to commemorate the eclipse. And the FAA says air traffic could be impacted today and even through April 10th because of the eclipse. So they are anticipating higher than normal traffic. Prices have reflected that. And due to the amount of traffic, some planes might need to be rerouted or even delayed. So they're advising people to check ahead. If you are traveling today and even into the coming days, it might be impacted a little bit, even if you're not going to one of those spots. Speaking of air travel, lucky people will actually get to fly through the path of totality during the eclipse. Delta has flights leaving from Texas and headed to Detroit. They'll make a special detour over southeast Missouri then turn to the side so you can see the eclipse at eye level. Those flights were announced a few months ago and they quickly sold out within a day or so. We are, of course, continuing coverage. This is exciting, a rare solar event throughout the morning. We know Doug Luzader will take a look at how the East Coast is preparing for the event. That's coming up in the next 15 minutes or so, 10 minutes or so. And then at 8.30, Saquon will show us how Minnesotans can get in on the fun, even though we're not necessarily going to see the most magnificent, magnificent sight, but it's still a lot of fun happening here today. Yeah. Guys, back to you. All right. All very good. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate it.